What is going on guys? Grave here today. We're going to talk about a patch that will be coming to Battlefield 1 very soon. No specific date just yet from DICE, but they've already outlined a lot of the notes of exactly what they want to do. The hard, uh, hardcore server should be uh, coming very, very soon. I know a lot of people out there are looking uh, for hardcore servers. A lot of people are hardcore fans, so those should be coming soon for all you guys that like to play hardcore. Uh, they're going to tweak the Suez map, which I think needs to be fixed. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Suez anyway because the it seems always that you can get spawn trapped really, really quickly with only three flags. I'm not a big fan of the tank being on the map either, but that's not going to change. But what they're going to do is uh, they're going to change the layout of the map. Uh, they're going to expand the layout uh, for uh, uh, for five instead of three flags. They're also going to uh, um, reduce the capture area size of the two control points located within the map's villages. So you can't cap so much inside the buildings, which I think is a very, very good thing. Uh, they're going to, it's going to make for more dynamic style matches. Uh, and also they said they're going to add one more armored vehicle to each team's base to give dominated teams a better chance to quickly get across the map and capture control points. I'm not sure if I like that. I think it should be more, I think it should be a strictly infantry map, but that's just my opinion. But I do like the addition of the new flags and making a fl five flags instead of three. I think it'll make it for a better gameplay experience on that map. And of course, on November the 16th, guys, Battlefest will be starting. If you're not a, uh, a long-time Battlefield player, they always do Battlefest, or they've started doing Battlefest over the past several years. It's kind of a celebration of, of, of Battlefield, just in general. And uh, it's going to be a week-long celebration where they'll give out, uh, you know, in-game rewards, login rewards. Uh, they'll, of course, they'll do some live streams from Battlefield, of course, unique battle pack revisions community missions and they said much more they said they're not going to detail everything just yet but go ahead and mark that down guys if you're interested on november the 16th is when Battlefest will begin of course fog of war uh, is going to be introduced into the custom games uh fog of war will premiere on during battle fest it's going to be a unique team death match experience you will challenge uh be challenged by limited sight as you fight in fog with uh the mini map and soldier name uh tags turned off so there'll be no mini map no names over anybody's head so that ought to be a pretty interesting experience for a team deathmatch. I think that'll be a lot of fun. And last but not least, uh, there's going to be some other updates for things kind of preparing for Giant Shadow also, which will be a map that's free for all in December. And the other thing they t uh, spoke of, of course, you know, is going to be some gun balance and things like that. They didn't get into detail of that just yet. Of course, when that comes out, I'll let you guys know in patch notes and, you know, like always. But the other thing they were talking about is servers. They're going to bring the servers out, you know, so you can rent servers. And I'm not a huge fan of this on console for one reason, because when the player base slacks off later on, less people are playing, all the thing you can find is usually somebody's rented server. I don't mind rented servers. I think when you rent the server, you make your own rules. But I usually don't play in them because some of them have goofy rules or you'll get kicked or you'll get swapped around team-wise. And I'm just not a big fan of that. But my, my issue is, is, of course, it's, you know, DICE is just regular servers that are rented out. And it can kind of cause the issue for finding just regular DICE servers. But, of course, those are coming also. No detail on the price just yet. But, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the upcoming update. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.